You know, at the very moment of your salvation, you are immediately and you are permanently indwelt with the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God lives within every single child of God to enable us to leave the old life, but positively, he enables us to begin living a new life. In fact, Paul said in Titus chapter 2, remember in verse 11 to verse 14, he said that we were to deny ungodliness and worldly lusts negatively, but we are also to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. You see, not only does the Spirit of God enable us to say no to sin, but he also enables us to say yes to God. He enables us to put sin out of the life, and yet he enables us to begin living the life that God wants us to live. And that's a life that is lived soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. And friends, the only way that we can live that way is when we choose to depend upon the Spirit of God to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. And if we're going to be enabled by the Spirit of God to leave the old life and begin living a new life, then we need to, in faith, come to our ever willing father and simply ask him for the power of the holy spirit jesus had that idea in mind when he said in luke chapter 11 and verse 13 he said then if you be an evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your heavenly father give the holy spirit to them that ask he's asking us to ask for the spirit's power to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves and friends, if we're going to live the life that God wants us to live, then we need to ask our Heavenly Father for the power of the Spirit of God to do what we ought to do so we can be what we ought to be, that our life in every way would bring glory and honor and praise to the Father. One day a father was watching through a kitchen window as his small boy attempted to lift a large stone out of a sandbox. The boy was frustrated as he wrestled with the heavy object. Finally, he gave up, sat down, dejected, you know, on the end of the sandbox with his head in his hands. The father went outside and he put his arms around his son and he said, son, what's wrong? Can't you lift that rock out of the sandbox? And the boy looked up to his father. He said, no, sir. He says, I just can't do it. The father says, son, have used all the strength that is available to you. And the little boy looked up. He said, yes, sir. He says, I have used all the strength that's available to me. And the father said, son, no, you haven't. He said, you haven't asked me. You see, all the time was the strength of the father. And all the little boy needed to do was ask. But friend, do you know in the same way available to us is the power of the Holy Spirit? And all we need to do is to come to our Father and ask. And ask Him for His power to do what we can't do. And that is to leave the old life and begin living a new life. Listen, God wants us to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. And He's given us the power to do it. And that's the power of the Holy Spirit. And all you need to do to, to know His power is is ask. And my prayer is that that spirit, the spirit of God, would take the word of God and change you today.